The first hurricane of the season already made landfall. Agatha struck the west coast of Mexico as a Category 2. Winds reaching 105 miles per hour. A record is the strongest hurricane to touch down in the eastern Pacific in the month of May. Now, the National Hurricane Center says remnants of the storm could redevelop, but I wanted to bring in our John Dawson, our meteorologist, to talk about the fact that this is the first hurricane, but this is not our hurricane as Gulf Coast watchers. Right. Remember, the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific, both watched by the National Hurricane Center, uh, a part of NOAA, have separate names that they use. So That's the two lists. Pacific names over there. So you got the green check way over there in Agatha because we've used that one. But Alex is over here. That's going to be on our side of things, on the Atlantic side of things. Now, the question I have is talk about the remnants reforming and making it over Mexico to the Gulf. Would it keep the name or would the name change? Excellent question. And that's all determined. Ultimately, the National Hurricane Center is going to be the one to make that decision. But it really is dependent on at the surface if that can keep the tropical characteristics, which is that closed low pressure system. It has already lost that. Uh, so most likely, and again, it's finally up to the Hurricane Center to make that decision. Most likely later this week, I expect Alex to be on the board. As a tropical storm. Has as it ever storm. happened where a storm made it all the way across as yeah. the same storm? Yeah, totally. They're, they're kind of called crossover storms, and they can either go from the Pacific to the Atlantic, which is a little more rare, or the Atlantic to the Pacific. And that most recently, I had to look that up. The most recent one I could find was in 2016, and it was Otto was the name of that one. And it did maintain its name all the way across. So it kept its tropical characteristics as it moved all the way across Nicaragua and Panama uh, and Guatemala. It was really was devastating. And they actually retired that name. Does that have to do with how, what part it goes across? I mean, I figure more land must wreak yeah. havoc on the storm. Well, a lot of times the when you have higher elevations, mountains, those are going to tear up a storm, breaks make it, it harder. Up. Yeah, breaks it up a little bit more often. So uh, it, it does, and how much width, how wide the land it has to cross, another thing that to keep an eye on. Now, tomorrow is the official start of hurricane season, which means my favorite thing every year, gear tests. And if you don't bring back something <laughs> on par with the potty uh, right. uh, bucket the that yeah, you and I covered, right? yeah. I mean, he's got the best <laughs> gear, guys. Yeah, totally. Uh, we'll definitely uh, have a little preview tomorrow on some of the items that we'll be looking at. But yes, of of course, I'm going to be having uh, plenty of items to talk about this year, and we'll do what we can to keep you updated on possibilities of things that you'll want to include in your hurricane gear test. Those will come out. Uh, I'll be doing one of those a week as we move through hurricane season. So